dear students welcome to the first session of the topic linear equation in one variable let's begin the session with an interesting simple puzzle there are two friends anu and manu anu asked the manu to think a number then she continued multiply the number by 4 and 5 to the number then she asked what is the answer you got manu replied the answer is 65 suddenly anu said the number in your mind is 15 manu was surprised how she got the answer students you are also interested to know how she came to the answer so today i am going to discuss the topic linear equation in one variable in detail before entering to the topic move back to the puzzle you know she converted the statement into a mathematical form before that recollect some basic concepts that you studied in earlier classes let's go through constant what are constants constants are fixed values the term itself says that next variable variables are something that is vary already you studied to represent a variable we are using the small letter english alphabets move to the next term expression what are expression expressions are obtained by variables and constants using the mathematical operations addition subtraction multiplication and division let's have some examples of expressions here we have 3x 4x plus 2, 5 by 5 by 3 minus 8. All these are expressions. In the first expression, you have the variable x with the constant 3. That is an expression having only one term. Go to the next expression, 4x plus 2. There you have two terms, 4x and 2. Go with the next one, five by by three minus eight. There also you have two terms. So you can have expressions with more than one or two terms. Move to the next concept, equation. Equation is a condition on the variable, and the condition is that both the sides of the equal sign must satisfy the LHS and the RHS. Once more, move back to our puzzle. In that puzzle, Anu asked Manu to think a number. The number is unknown, so you want to take that number as the variable. Let the number be x. Then what she did? Multiply the number by four. So you have the next step as four x. Then add five to the number. So what you have as the expression? Four x plus five. This is what Manu got there. The answer that is sixty-five. So we can write four x plus five as sixty-five. So this is the equation what she formed for the puzzle. Four x plus five is equal to sixty-five. Solving this equation, we can find the variable that is the unknown value, the number what Manu think. Consider another example. Add one to square of a number gives you ten. How we can frame the equation there? The number we don't know. We will take that as the variable. Let us take the variable as x. Add one to square of this number. So the square of the number x is x square. Then add one x square plus one. That is given as ten. So your equation is x square plus one is equal to ten. This is also an equation. Now with some more examples, four x y plus eight is equal to nine. Another one, three x by seven plus eight y by five is equal to ten by three. These all are equations. But consider the first one. In the first example. You have only one variable, and the power of the variable is one. In the second example, 
x square plus 1 is equal to 10, you have only one variable, but the highest power of the variable is 2. In the third one, you have two variables, x and y. Last one, that also contains two variables, x and y. But, in this lesson, linear equation in one variable, we are dealing with the first type of equations. That means, an equation of the form 4x plus 5 is equal to 65 is known as linear equation. So, what is the definition of linear equation? An equation is said to be linear equation if it contains linear expressions. Here we have some more examples of linear equations. The first one is having linear expression in one side and the other side has constant. Second one, we have both the sides as linear expressions. And in the third one, we can reduce these equations into linear form. Now we are going to discuss how to solve linear equations. Go through the puzzle itself. We formed there the linear equation. That equation is 4x plus 5 is equal to 65. You know how to solve this. Solving this equation means we are finding the unknown variable there. Already we studied in class 7 how to solve a simple equation. The same idea we are going to use here. Keep the variable in one side and transpose all the constants to the other side. So you have 4x equal to 65 minus 5. That is equal to 60. So we have 4x equal to 60. So what is your x? Need to transpose 4 also to the other side. So we will give you x as 60 by 4. That is equal to 50. So you have the unknown variable there as 50. This is the way how we are solving linear equations. Now we are going to discuss in detail how to solve linear equations. Here we are dividing the problems into three different categories. The first one, linear equation which have linear expression in one side and constants in the other side. Second time, both the sides have linear expression. And the third one, equations reducible to linear form. Just go through the first type of questions and the solution. Consider one example. 2x minus 3 equal to 7. Here, this equation has linear expression in one side. The other side has 7 as the constant. How to solve this? The method that we used for solving simple equation, we can use here also. So, keep 2x in one side and transpose 3 to the other side will give you 7 plus 3 that is equal to 10. So you have 2x equal to 10. So your x is 10 by 2 that is equal to 5. So the solution of the equation is 5. Go through one more question. x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 50. How we can solve this? You need to find x. Keep the variable in one side and transpose the constants to the other side. That is, x by 3 is equal to 7 by 15. Transpose plus 1 to the other side will come as minus 1. That is equal to 7 by 15 minus 1 can be written as 15 by 15. That is equal to 7 minus 15 by 50. That gives you minus 8 by 50. So you have x by 3 is equal to minus 8 by 15. So x is equal to minus 8 by 15. 3 will go to the other side. And it will be multiplied. So into 3. You can use the cancellation method. And you can simplify 3 and 15 by 5. So your answer is minus 8 by 5.
or you understood how to solve linear equation of the first type that means equations with linear expression in one side and constants on the other side by this today i am winding up this session just recall once more what we learned today linear equation in one variable and its solution what are linear equations an equation having linear expression is known as linear equation that means only one variable and the highest power of the variable is one we will meet next day with more solutions of linear equations and the application level questions till then bye thank you